This is Fox 19 now. Much as I want you here, and, uh, God needed their angel up there. He needed and got him. I, but I, it's, it's a tough pill to swallow. It's tough. It, it's, it's a tough pill to swallow. We start tonight hearing from the family of Joshua Alatif, that six-year-old boy's body was found in a pond near his home last Thursday, one day after he went missing. Yeah, and the Butler County coroner has since ruled his death an accidental drowning. In an interview you're only going to see first right here on Fox 19 now, Alexis Martin spoke with Joshua's parents about the change they want to see after his death. A big part of our conversation was about the search that took place here at Mulhauser Barn and how the community really rallied for them and their son. Now, Joshua's parents tell me raising a kid with autism is a full-time job and they really want to see change in the community after what just happened. That temperature started dropping, just tears just kept coming down my eyes. It's like, dang. We kept hoping and believing maybe yeah. some kids got him in the house. Yeah. Yeah. A mix of emotions filled the room as Jonisa Cook and Joshua Al Latif Sr. described the over 24 hour search for their son, Joshua Al Latif Jr. It was relentless. I feel like they were relentless. I was relentless. They was wanting to go anywhere I was wanting to go. Forever long. We was they wanting to go to the long. pits of hell to pull him out wherever he yeah. was at. Yep. Joshua, who was an autistic nonverbal six year old, went missing from his home Wednesday night. Jonisa and Joshua Sr. say they had spent the afternoon with their son before leaving him with his siblings. Jonisa says she got a call from her son that Joshua was missing. She says she called 911 immediately and hurried home. Like people were starting to come and people was outside and he ended up wrecking trying to get trying to get there too hundreds of volunteers and businesses joined police in the search for more than 24 hours until joshua was found in a pond thursday night this is a real thing and this could happen to anybody and i don't want this to happen to nobody this is the worst this is this is the worst I, this is the worst kind of pain imaginable joshua's parents say since the day he was born at just 28 weeks their world has revolved around him. He was so small about this big, mm. and but he was just a natural fighter. Joshua says being a parent of a child with autism is a never-ending job, but worth every second. Changed, changed my life with patience. We always got um, uh, my change of life baby, and he changed my life. Now, Joshua's parents are asking for more awareness for kids with autism. They hope if anyone ever sees a kid alone, they don't assume someone's watching and check to make sure they're okay. They used to have signs out like uh, for blind people, deaf live children, here, and deaf stuff children. Like that. I want to know that for autism and people that's autistic live here. Jonisa says after Joshua went missing, she wanted an Amber Alert put out, but police told her it didn't meet the criteria because they didn't believe he was abducted. She says five hours after his disappearance, an alert was put out for a critical missing person. That went out for a four mile radius. If I'm telling you that a missing nonverbal autistic kiddo is missing, it should be something, another alert to go out to say that. This is why the family's petitioning for the Joshua alert. It would go out the second a child with a spectrum disorder is reported missing. I just feel like maybe if we had the alert and it went out right away, you know, it could be more people out right away at, at five something when it happened. Jonisa and Joshua Sr. say they will always remember how happy Joshua was and miss taking walks with him and getting his favorite treats at Dairy Queen. He's, he's <laughs> smiling, doing things and uh, wanting to play, wanting to be happy, singing. Making his own songs. <laughs> Jonisa and Joshua say they are forever thankful to the community. They say there was love in every second of the search and it is giving them hope in humanity. I th they made sure they took care of one of their own. The businesses did great. So did the police. And Joshua wasn't just ours, he was everybody's. Nice. Yeah. He was everybody's. And they made it aware that he's everybody's. All for one, and one for all. Joshua's family has a link set up for a memorial fund and ask that you sign their petition for the Joshua Alert on change.org. I bet they were touched. The amount of people that showed up for that search mm -hmm. and then and it Hundreds. really, it, it touched all of our hearts. It's devastating. Alexis, thank you. 
All right, well, Joshua's parents, they also shared his funeral arrangements with us. There is going to be a visitation from 10 to noon this Sunday, November 30th. That's going to be followed by a funeral service from noon to 2. This will all be at Zion Global Ministries there in Westchester.